Give me a number, make it 10, and then make an explosion. Cute. So now when I run around, turn hitboxes off. Let's say we want to go visit our neighbor. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Rant's night vision, that won't be very nice. We want these things, but you can only get them from chests. And let's go adventuring and looting and pillaging and see how we go. Just like that, we are airborne. <laughs> Definitely my new favorite toy. <gasps> I'm hurting the villagers. I didn't mean to. I did not mean to. I keep forgetting that that actually harms them. Move over, kid. Right, so I think we've discovered that villagers just aren't really worth it. They're not worth the time and hassle it takes to loot them. And also, while this hex thing... Whoa, what's going on here with these cliffs? While this trinket is cool and all... Look, we've already used... Oh, we've already used 35% uh, of it. Damn. So anyone out there who's a bit more experienced with hex than me, which probably isn't much to brag about, let me know how you guys set up your... Whoa! Whoa, what is this place? <laughs> Please let me know how you guys set up your uh, your trinkets. Don't die. Because that's just, TBH, that's just way too expensive for me. What a cool little spot. It's a whole island here. I gotta, I gotta waste another one to get up there. It's gonna use up all my trinkets, isn't it? Whoa! Okay, we made it to the top. I hate this. I hate this. You should not let me explore. Because the more I explore... Well, that's quite a huge structure. The more I explore, the more I fall in love with new areas. This looks like a really cool place. Like you got a bit of an island all to yourself. You've got this huge, huge elevated cliff. Steep on all sides. You've got exposed geodes. What are the neighbors like? Gorgeous sunsets. This place is kind of perfect, isn't it? Wow. Um, <laughs> what is going on over here? I do not know what that is. Oh no, there's more structures. And a village. I don't know, what do you guys think? Whoa, from this side it looks amazing. Damn, look at that mini map, all those zombie villages. Maybe the swamp can be for create and this can be for our... And this can be our actual location. Geez, these guys are not happy. Ooh, it's a lighthouse. I know these things. How do I trigger it? The any key. That's cool. It's going to look amazing from the outside. Now, I've already investigated one of these things before. No hostiles were in it, so I'm, I think we're safe. Ah! See how fast that guy is? Damn, man. You're nasty. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> God, I wish I knew which mods each of these structures come from. Oh, look at the mini map there. We've got skeletons inside. What do you think about that duck? Yeah, I'm not sure I trust it either. Let's try and go about this safely. Remember, we are wearing chain mail. Why would I jump in? In there. What do you do? The game tells me to jump. Should I jump? I think the answer is yes. Probably drink that too. <laughs> All right, let's jump. What's installed for us down here? Oh, what? What am I looking at? Is this a troll? I'm withered, right? Yeah. That's not funny, guys. I have feelings, you know. <laughs> a bit disappointing, a bit weird. What do we have here? We have a graveyard. Now these places can have wither skeleton spawners in them. So let's try and be careful. I'll take the heads. Mostly garbage we're finding in here. Okay, I suspect... Aha! That's a zombie spawner. Okay, we don't need that. All right, are we brave enough to take this place on? Oh, 
I don't know. You guys might be. I'm not sure I am. What are we going to call this? Coliseum, but I don't believe him. So I think pretty obviously this place is going to have spawners everywhere. Oh, you jerk. <laughs> uh, I'm very scared right now. How did you get in here? Oh, you've been... You're a gladiator. Yeah, this guy's a freaking hero. There's villagers here. I have got to liberate this place. There are definitely going to be spawners all over the place, right? There's one in the middle there. Oh no, I hate these guys. I hate these guys. I hate these guys so much. Let me in. <laughs> uh, let me in. Okay, I'm hanging out here with the spectators. Honestly, the regular chests here have been nerfed. <laughs> in the previous version, you could get heaps. I think what could be useful are these things called uh, boxes, right? Cardboard boxes. Oh, this is it, actually. A special box able to store and move content holding blocks. Shift click to unpack a box. Okay, so this guy, we get four of them as well. I think we can use it to pack up things like spawners and even chests. So, do you no, shift right click? And then what do you do? Oh cool, it doesn't waste it. Shift right click and then we break it. All right, so I think we're in a good enough position to race in there, right click on that, and hopefully that stops the spawns. Okay, wish me luck. No. <laughs> no, let me alone. Aha. I'd really appreciate it if you could burn up for me, please. Whenever you're ready. What is the health on this guy? Whoa, mmm, mmm, okay, <laughs> oh, how did that happen? There are all my levels. That was a shock. I think we should be safe enough. Oh my god, <laughs> don't scare me like that horse. If that horse figures that out, God help us all. Okay, gotta make sure I don't get killed here. That thing is tough. Whoa. Pretty sure this guy is just too tough for us. I think that was like a one hit he got us. So we're going to take the cow's way up. I'll have to check the footage back on that one. But I was pretty sure I had good health. Finally. Who is this guy? Look at this ninja up here. At least I don't think he can get us from there. We should be able to go. If we're careful, we should be able to... Just destroy them. I really want to get that guy's goodies. Did it survive that fall? Where is it? Hey. <laughs> Whoa, that guy is tough. Let's see, did it drop anything cool for us? Protection 10. Protection 10 on those pants. Protection 10 on that helmet. You're kidding me. That's insane. I don't understand how you can get protection 10. Okay, you guys are safe now. Let's turn this into a kind of open plan design. We're going to democratize the Colosseum. Okay, I am really glad that I took the time to kill that guy. Because I very much almost just ran away. As is my default reaction. <laughs> That's just incredible. 10. 10. Welcome back. It's a bit of a late intro with this one. So I'm sorry for the long delay between episodes. The announcement of AOF 6 coming out kind of threw me off schedule and, uh, and I had to drop everything to get an overview video out before launch. But we're here now. We're ready to jump back in. In between episodes, I made a couple more trinkets. 
including that one. <laughs> That's a. Uh, I should have named these things properly. And. Aha! So we just have a regular explosion one and then the bomb one. I'm not sure how I feel about having lit fire so close to my base. We are still on the lookout for better equipment, particularly doodads and artifacts. Anyway, since last episode, we were mostly just chilling out here at the base. I think maybe this time. I think maybe this time we can probably beef up our equipment a little bit and head all the way back to those freaking towers from way back in the first episode and try and grab whatever loot we missed. All right, so let's upgrade our equipment, uh, recharge these trinkets, and be on our way. Okay, this is going to be a tricky one. So recharge a media containing item in my other hand costs about one amethyst shard. So I think it was like this, and that's going to take the amethyst and... Charge it to my offhand. All right, that wasn't so hard at all. And we'll also recharge this one. Between episodes, I also dug up all these diamonds, and I'm going to have a fun time fortune in them. So let's do that together, maybe. So let's get a building star for that. Yeah, so I just put my fortune pickaxe here in my uh, traveler's backpack item slot. So I can swap whatever's in my hand with whatever's in the pack. Unfortunately, it doesn't work for steam mining drill, which I guess isn't like tagged as a as a tool or something. So that's a shame. But either way, we got this. So let's just do shapeless for these. Yikes. Whoa, not bad. Okay, let's make ourselves what we need. But to get the most out of these things, we are going to want to put some enchants on them including these protection tens. Uh, to strip them off, we're going to have to get ourselves an infusion table, which isn't too expensive, although we don't have the current obsidian. And with the infusion table, we can strip enchants off some things and onto books and then put them onto something else. I also want one of these long swords. Yeah, goodbye. <laughs> goodbye, iron sword. As luck would have it, I actually spotted uh, meteorite here, which as you can tell has obsidian, hopefully also cry in obsidian, I'm not sure, but let's head on over in that direction, pick that up and get ourselves an infusion table. What's that? Sky stone from Ad Astra. Oh, so this must be an Ad Astra meteorite. We'll just grab what we need. That'll be enough. Uh huh. And for the polished deep slate, we need a stone cutter, which we may as well just make real quick. Dig it up ourselves the old fashioned way. All right, it looks, looks like that time it worked. So, but there's our infusion table. And with this guy, if we'll find somewhere sensible for, to put it. Let's just tuck that in there for the time being. I think with this, if I remember correctly, you get yourself a book, uh, a flint and steel, and then the item you want to strip the enchant off. So let's, um, I guess let's just test it with this chain mail here. Uh, book, item, flint and steel. And that should give us a book with those two enchants. Yeah. All right. So let's do that now with our two pieces of protection. I just want to keep this guy here because this spawner, it doesn't tell you what's inside it, but this is a spawner with the crazy guys that spawn the protection 10 <laughs> skeletons. And there's our other protection 10 book. What was that? Oh my God, I touched this thing. Wow, okay. You're you're not gonna sit there anymore. That was not pleasant. That scared the hell out of me. I think I can do this, right? Put it on a stick. Yeah. Put that in my backpack and whew, never have to run into it again. <laughs> bunny's hop. I think bunny's hop is pretty OP. I'm not sure. We'll take a chance on that one. Magic protection four, bunny hop three. Now, I think it's just double jump, right? Oh no. Bunny's hop is just you jump more when you're on grass. Okay, we should be able to, ooh, we're getting quite a healthy amount of things here. 
Let's grab the XP and maybe we can use that to get to the 30 levels to upgrade all our things. Okay. Cool, okay. I think we got this now. Charmed increases your luck, doesn't it? I think I'll go with Unbreaking, which is a safe one. Oh, and we got Charmed on that. And this will give us Perception. I forget what Perception does, but I think it helps you look through walls. Perception grants increased dark visibility and allows enemies yep, to be seen through walls. Okay, now to figure out which one of these we want to give our um, Protection 10 to. And this probably isn't the most efficient way that I've gone about this, but if we get these, if we get our items here, whoops, if I put that on a book, yeah, I'm almost certain this isn't the best way to go about this, but if I get them on a book, then I can, oh, 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 my items, my items. <laughs> did everyone see what I just did? I just destroyed those items. All right, <laughs> I'm wasting levels here, jeez. I guess what I should be doing is rolling until I get something good, which doesn't have magic protection. If it's got magic protection, chuck it in there, rewind. And then once I get it, I can combine uh, protection 10 on it. So ward inspire, damage taken from behind will be halved. Okay, sure thing. Combine it with protection 10. And then combine that with one of these books. Doesn't really matter which one. And that'll give us Unbreaking 3. So we'll do something similar with some leggings. Unbreaking 3 and Protection, whatever. Ah, good enough for now. And we'll combine that with Protection 10. And hopefully that's pretty OP now. Yeah, and uh, probably a shield as well. And later on we can upgrade these things. Was it like this? It was like this. Okay. We got our shield on. We got our good sword. Ha! Unbreaking, knockback. Mm -hmm. All right, I'll take it. Good enough. Actually, I kind of do. I think I would like to have protection on everything. So let's just go somewhere where it's reasonably safe. And... I'm hoping that we could do something like this. Spawn that guy in. How do I do this? Oh. Okay, and then we can quickly hide under here. Hopefully one spawns in and we'll just wrap it up again. It probably doesn't have the space. That's a shame. I think this spawner here that with the phantoms that is the one that gives us our protection 10. I think it has special requirements. I suspect it needs something like an open sky above it. All right, we can worry about that later. Let's head off then back to those towers and reclaim some of our dignity that was taken from us in the first episode. Whew. Okay, we, now we can shortcut all the way up, which is handy. All right, what do we got here? Uh, everything. Let's just take it. I also plan on getting very destructive with these guys and burning them down when I can. Disco Inferno time. Well, I think this is the answer to all of our slime issues. If we can make it... No! Damn it. Ugh. Cool, and I think, I think these are the blocks we need to make our sling. Ah, they are. That's two string. And there's our slime sling. And then I think you just do this. Yeah, plenty of mobility these days. Okay, let's just collect whatever loot we can. Not sure what's making that bouncing sound. Again, not really having any luck here with the, with the accessories that we need, are we? 
Right, let's let that spread. Just burn this place down. Amphibious would be nice. I see you sneaking over there. <laughs> Everything burns. Alright, what loot do we have? This guy trying to sneak up on me. Ah, I'm still not having any luck getting any accessories. Let's see now. You drop from Mimics, or you're in Artifacts, Loot Tables, Shipwrecks, Abandoned Mine Shafts, Nether, Ruined Portals. Okay, so I think what we're going to do is try and just go through the chest at the very top. Like these ones. And it doesn't look like they have doodads, so perhaps we need to actually move on and head elsewhere. Yeah, I just don't think these places have the chest that we need. Yeah, it sucks. We came all this way. You got anything for me, pal? Forge in touch. Mm. This guy's hardly worth, hardly worth robbing. Yeah, so it was really, really fun to have a play through some of the new mods in All of Fabric 6. But I'm definitely not going to abandon this series. Whoa. Alright, you guys keep your secrets. Hopefully we have more luck with these guys. But I, yeah, I'm definitely not going to abandon this world just yet. And just to start another playthrough, there's still heaps here that I want to do. And I don't think four episodes would technically count as a season, if you know what I mean. Chest sided. Got anything for us? Any doodads? Mm, not really. That's it? That's all the treasure you got? But instead of following that original plan, which was to finish all of modern industrialization, <laughs> no small feat, and also to complete all the challenges section, which is like real endgame stuff, I'm thinking maybe we leave all those for a All of Fabric 6 playthrough. And instead here, we just spend our time focusing on getting a little bit more familiar with a bunch of the mods already here. Like, I really want to progress a bit further down hex casting. We've clearly just scratched the surface of that. And we can go back into space and actually explore it this time instead of just using it as a transition between seasons. We can have a look into power and, and using some of the other mods. So, you know, we've got no shortage of things to do and explore here. So perhaps this series will remain like a bit of a free-flowing exploration of the mods and we'll save some of our larger overarching goals. Our big plans for bases and all that kind of stuff. We can save that for an All of Fabric 6 playthrough once that pack gets a little bit more developed and is a bit more stable. Oh my god, these are some tough guys. Ah! <laughs> I think we should be able to help these guys just sink to the bottom if we burn down the ship. Oh! Oh, God! <laughs> what a hideous area. All right. That's it. Give me some of that boost. Okay, I think we're going okay. Nah, we're not going okay. Get out of here. Woo! I think our protection 10 there is doing a lot of heavy lifting. God, how annoying are these little guys? Whoa! <laughs> Sounds like there's a bunch of... What? Dolphin dies? Oh! that poor dolphin died trying to protect me. Thanks guys. Alright, let's try that again a bit more organized this time. Just do a quick flyby to aggro them. Well, I never wanted to be their friend anyway. Alright, we let that spread and we loot. Oh, 
All righty, how are we doing here? Sharpness, protection, acceleration. This seems like a fair trade to me. I am really having zero luck here, aren't I? No artifacts anywhere to be seen. Any luck up here? That's pretty badass. That's okay. Hmm. Lane of swine. I mean, sure, I'll take it because I'm greedy. But I'm disappointed. Less of a pirate, more of a pyro, I think. Sadly, we're still without any accessories. Yeah, it's telling us here that mimics always drop a random artifact when killed, but you know, I've, I've killed a couple of them and I haven't got any artifacts. But I do have a bunch of loot to, <laughs> to collect here. Let me just go collect all. I love opening these things up. Artifact loot bag. Grants immunity to levitation. All right. We wear it. That's one at least. We got a cipher. I hope this guy's not looking for his friend. And a few other things. Portable tanks. Always good. Hmm. 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 And I don't know where I am. There we are. Okay, so we've had zero luck, unfortunately, and not from lack of trying. Two and a half hours I spent exploring caves and hunting down mimics, killing mobs and looting structures. Just start a civil war, I think. <laughs> New solution. And raiding villages, but it just wasn't enough. I even climbed the top of this giant ice tower here. I found a map that sent me off on a wild goose chase really, really far away where I thought it was marking treasure on a map. So I dug down for something I didn't know what before realizing that the map was probably just telling me like, hey guy, there's an oasis over here, FYI, like we didn't already know. I looted a couple of those ruined nether portals. Nothing. Nada. Huh, I even bought out the traveling villagers stock of mystery bundles. Zilch. I didn't have anything good for us. So I went through basically all the quest rewards that I could tolerate going through to find which ones give artifact bags. A sleep charm. <gasps> oh, rubber band. Are you kidding me? Oh, <laughs> I did, however, get this really cool looking iron golem backpack. I don't think it does anything special, but it does look cool. But since we put all our eggs in this one basket, to give this episode any kind of coherence, I can't really end it without getting an accessory that I want. So I, so I went over to the desert and kidnapped a couple of rabbits. And I've just been breeding them over here in this hole here. And once there's enough of them, we'll do what we need to do to get a few rabbits' feet. And with them, you can craft a doodad bundle, which just basically like re recycles oops, whatever doodad you have. So we can chuck in our anti-levitation band thing there and just keep on recycling until we get something that's that's really cool, like uh, night vision or water breathing or something like that. Oh, and yeah, I made up a dark enchanter. This thing lets you add and remove enchants pretty easily. The downside is that it costs like a fortune in levels. So it's pretty impractical until you have a mob farm or, or an XP farm. And you can get a 20% discount if you build like a structure with crying obsidian and glass and bookshelves and stuff, but not too keen on doing all that stuff at the moment. I just wanted to make sure that our stuff doesn't break. So I spent a couple levels repairing what needed repairing and upgrading some gear just a little bit more. But honestly, I feel very happy with this Protection 10 business going on. So I think this should keep us pretty solid for a while yet, at least. We might let these rabbits breed for a little bit longer and we'll come right back and hopefully get some rabbit feet. Well, they're, they're all a bit chaotic, but also pretty well behaved once you dangle a carrot in front of the face. Let's be careful not to kill all of these guys and see how many rabbit's feet we can get. I think they were killing each other. It must be entity cramming or something, but uh, yeah, still no feet. So if we had a potion of luck, I think that would go a long way as well. Potion of luck. Oh, thank God. So 
16, which is nothing to sneeze at. Let's see. Let's see what we can get from recycling that. So what was it? It was diamonds, rabbit hide, rabbit feet, and those rubber bands. So we should have enough to do this eight times. It's a shame because this immunity levitation thing is really handy once you get into the end. Fingers crossed. Night vision. Oh, don't throw it off the cliff. Okay, slimy shoes. Grants increased height jump and disables fall damage. Mm. Try again. No, this is the thing that lets you look at Enderman. Fingers crossed. You again, Jesus. I cannot leave until we get something decent here. What's that? Some kind of glove. Instantly plays concrete powder. Yeah. The least interesting thing for us right now. Hmm. Places floating lights. We've already got that covered. Ugh. Just two more. What's it say? Don't run with them. What happens if I do? <laughs> Ow! <laughs> Does it have any practical uses? We have enough rabbit's feet for two more of these spins. Cannot be this hard. <laughs> Freaking ring. What's that do? Provides high damage boost during the day. This is our last one. This is our last roll of the dice. Cross your fingers for me, please. Something good. It's a stupid ring again, isn't it? No! Uh, I mean, we'll wear it. But I'm not very happy about it. We only had to kill 107 rabbits. <laughs> a monster. All right. Well, we got plenty of ore processed and materials to start our base proper. The only real question is, where do we build the damn thing? Because once I lay down the foundations of our base, that's it. Like, no more moving. And when we build it, we're going to settle in good. So what do you guys think? I'm tempted to say, since we're a frog and all that, we should just stick it out at the swamp. However, these cliffs that we found at the beginning of the episode really are something else. I'm not sure I've ever seen world generation in this game as gorgeous as them. Maybe we'll never have another chance to build in something so beautiful. It's a tough call. Maybe you guys can help me decide. Let me know which one your favorite is. If not, I'll probably just have to flip a coin and, <laughs> and let fate decide. Okay, that's the episode. Hope you enjoyed it. Next time, come back. We're going to we sort out all the mess that we've left back at our storage chests and get started on AE2. Hope to see you in the next one. Bye for now. See, wouldn't this look 10 times better with night vision?